Hi, welcome to Journey to Hydroponics. My name is Pat, and in this video, I want to try doing something different. You see, I've been exploring hydroponics by growing vegetables and herbs such as basil, dill, tomatoes, kale, cucumber, cilantro, okra, and many more. And we also did a series which included microgreens and mushrooms. But I wanted to try something new, something I've never done even with regular garden soil. And that is growing flowers from seeds. Usually we purchase flowers from our favorite garden store, but what if we try growing flowers from seeds using hydroponics? Is it possible? So I decided to try a flower that was simple to grow. I did some searching and decided that what we shall try to grow from seed is the melopodium. Melopodium is a flowering plant and I'm choosing a variety that gives out yellow flowers and so its common name is butter daisy. The flower is native to tropical and subtropical regions, making it drought and heat tolerant. So let's try growing melampodium flower plants from seed hydroponically. As in all my previous videos, we need to start with sterilizing the moist cocoa peat and taking out any pathogens. Once the cocoa peat has cooled, squeeze out the excess water and transfer it to your seedling container. Get your seeds and distribute them. Now I'm trying out 8 seeds. Spray them with treated water and then cover them with cocoa peat. Treated water is using tap water without chlorine. Leave your tap water in an open container for a day or two and that will help remove the chlorine. I like placing a plastic lid on top to help retain the moisture and I also place weights like these miniature sandbags so that the seeds can be pressed onto the moist cocoa peat. I place the container inside the box and wait for the seeds to germinate in darkness. On day 5, about two buds began to appear, so I placed the container under LED lights. The lights I'm using are your ordinary LED ceiling lights that are about 18 kilowatts, giving out over 2,000 lumen and over 5,000 Kelvin. Bottom feed the seedling with your treated water to keep the cocoa peat moist. I usually do this every two to three days. On day 11, more seedlings began to appear. On day 15, true leaves began to appear. So I now bottom feed with my nutrient solution. I'm using a brand called Master Blend and here's the formula I used. I also kept the pH level near 6.0. On day 25, I decided to transfer the seedlings to a pot that's about 8 inches wide and about 7 inches deep. The nutrients will be held in this microwave container. The microwave container has aluminum foil wrapped around it to prevent algae from growing inside.
Don't forget to check the level of the nutrient solution. It's a good idea to keep the cocoa peat moist, even if melampodium flower plants are drought tolerant. So there you have it, beautiful hydroponic melampodium flowers grown from seeds. Thank you for watching this channel. Till our next video, bye-bye.